Okay, so what we got from uh, Chief Deputy Anthony Dwyer after that very brief uh, press conference was uh, he, he, he gave us some in information he didn't want on camera, but uh, there are four uh, injured as a result, or wounded, I should say, in the terms of uh, two with gunshot wounds, and then another two uh, wounded or injured uh, trying to either escape uh, or possibly there was even a uh, some kind of a scuffle. I directly asked them, did students try to take down the shooter? Uh, they did not have an answer for me at that point, but uh, suggested perhaps that uh, students either trying to get away or, or some kind of uh, confusion that uh, another two uh, were injured as a result. So what he did confirm, though, is that two students of the four who are injured uh, were actually shot. They also said that it was not uh, what is referred to as a long gun, but it was a handgun. I asked that question directly, what type of weapon they said it was a handgun. Uh, in terms of range, uh, w they were not very clear on that, but again, they said that it happened in the cafeteria, uh, and uh, again, two people shot, uh, two people injured, uh, either trying to escape or perhaps uh, uh, something else uh, other than the shooting. Uh, and that information came again from Chief Deputy Anthony Dwyer here, with the Butler County Sheriff's Office, uh, who wanted to give us that information off camera. He said that there will be another press briefing coming up. I asked what time. He said uh, they don't know. Uh, at this point, they need to get the situation under control, and then they're going to come back to us. And these are live pictures right now from Chopper 9 overhead. Uh, Chopper 9, the only local helicopter getting you breaking news first. This is our first look at Madison Junior Senior High School. You can see there are parents outside, there are firefighters, there are police officers outside trying to make this go as smoothly as possible. There was a shooting at this school at 11.30. Now, just two and a half hours later, parents are there to pick those students up. The lockdown has been lifted. Students are allowed to go home. There has been an immediate dismissal. Uh, we just have learned, that, as Jay was just telling us, that four students have been injured in this school shooting, two of whom were shot in the cafeteria, two others who were hurt by shrapnel. Our Dan Carroll is manning Chopper 9. And uh, Dan, we are looking at this scene for the first time. Uh, talk to us. Well, uh, we just got to the scene here, Madison Junior Senior High School, and uh, this is uh, the scene that uh, a lot of parents uh, have been hoping for since they first heard the news of the shooting here. There you see uh, what looks to be a, a parent walking away with, uh, with their teenager from here at the school, and you can see a number of parents gathered out in front of the high school as we uh, orbit the scene. Now, we, I, I want to tell you there's, uh, there's also, well, you see a helicopter that's right there uh, on the ground here at the high school. There's also a sheriff's helicopter here, no, another news copter, so we're going to be orbiting the scene and uh, we'll constantly be circling around. But a large number of parents gathered right there in front of the entrance to the school. Uh, we saw just a moment ago what appeared to be a student walking out with a parent, and I'm sure many more of those reunions will be taking place here in the uh, in the next several minutes. So I'll go ahead and pull out wide, and you can see the complex. You get a, a good idea of the size of the uh, the complex here at the, the high school and the uh, the entire uh, school system is located in this area and uh, over towards uh, the top of the screen that's where a lot of parents were gathered before and then they uh, were told a little while ago they could go ahead and head to the uh, to the school and come and pick their kids up you can see the lo the long line of cars out here of all these uh, parents presumably parents waiting to get in to pick up uh, their kids here at the school. So that's uh, just sort of a scene setter for what's happening here at the school right now. We know it was on lockdown earlier. That lockdown uh, has been lifted, uh, is my understanding, and uh, just uh, some reunions taking place right now with parents who are obviously concerned about the, uh, the welfare of their kids. Yeah, and this is a great perspective from the air. Again, our first look, uh, we have been held back uh, at the media staging area because uh, there, there have been a traffic backup. They closed Ohio 122 at one point so the helicopters could land. And as we zoom in, we are okay to zoom in, we know right now, because all of the victims who have been okay. injured in this school shooting have been taken to the hospital, two of whom were helicoptered out. Uh, another two were injured by shrapnel or in some sort of scuffle in the cafeteria at around 1130 this morning. And everyone has been taken to the hospital uh, for treatment to their injuries. Uh, this is a helicopter on the ground right now. And Dan, uh, can you talk to us? Is this a medical helicopter? Do you know by looking at it? Right. This is uh, this is a UC Air Care helicopter on the ground here at the uh, school, and we are told they are going to be lifting off momentarily. That's why we're keeping our distance from the school to give the uh, Air Care helicopter plenty of room to go ahead and uh, and lift off. So I would imagine they just uh, loaded up a patient 
uh, here in the last few minutes. Wow. Uh, Jeffrey, do you know if they have a patient on board? Okay, we don't know that for sure. Okay. We don't know that for sure, but uh, in any case, uh, the air carrier helicopter is still here on the scene. I'm a little surprised by that because we had heard that they uh, were called initially to the scene, and then the information that I had was that uh, they had already landed and departed the scene. And so uh, to see an air carrier helicopter here on the scene at the school uh, at this uh, far into this event uh, surprises me just a little bit. So we'll have to find out whether or not uh, they do have a patient on board. But in any case, uh, you can see they've got the rotors turning and they'll be lifting off here in just uh, a few moments. Yeah, and that's what happens when this information is coming out uh, as it's developing. And we are live on the air. We are getting reports from uh, different agencies, from the schools, uh, from social media, which we have to be very careful about reporting. But we are trying to get you as much information as we can at this hour. And if Jay Ward